Hey everybody, Daniel Mosnet here with Cowboy Charcoal. We're gonna show you how to do a classic chicken recipe today, but we've got tons of recipes. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe right here, and you can see this recipe and so many more. We've got tri-tip recipes, crab recipes, all kinds of recipes that you can use in your backyard, out on the road, or wherever your barbecue takes you. All right, so let's dive into some chicken, okay? Today we're just gonna do some classic drumsticks. We're gonna season them with a little bit of Jack Daniels. I'm gonna show you a quick little trick, hit them with a little salt and pepper. We're gonna throw them right on the grill. Got our walkabout grill today. We just picked this up at the local hardware store. It is a super inexpensive grill compared to all of the other options you have out there. It's something that you can take to the beach, out to the park, for a picnic, just about anywhere you want to grill, or you can do it right here in your backyard. They're inexpensive, they're maybe $50, sometimes they're less if you can get them on sale, and they work really well. They've got great air intake, so you can make sure you get all of that good smoke, whether you're using wood chips, or you're using wood chunks, or you're using all natural wood briquettes. So, to get this started, we are going to open the top of our bag. Now, a lot of people say I can never get my bag open. Well, all you do is you take the left side, which I'm calling this, the left side of the bag, look up from the Y, and you'll find a little string. This little string that is poking out, that's the string that you wanna grab, and hopefully this works well for me. You just grab that string, and you just pull it all the way through. There's another one on the back, and you just pull it all the way through. And now you have a completely open bag of cowboy charcoal. You can use this, you can put that right in the bottom, it's just paper. You can put that right in the bottom of your chimney starter and open the top of your bag. Now, everybody says this is the hardest thing to do. Well, you saw me do it. It was one of the easiest things to do. If you can open a bag of cowboy charcoal easier than that, put it on video, put it in our Cowboy Pitmaster Facebook group, and we'll send you a t-shirt. Actually, just put a video of you opening a bag of charcoal and we'll send you a t-shirt. Okay, so now let's get this started. We're gonna load this up with about 50 briquettes or so, and here are apple wood briquettes. You can see the pieces of apple right inside. You've got some jagged edges. That helps the charcoal light a little bit faster and a little bit easier. Now these briquettes, they're 100% natural. We don't use any fillers at all. So all you're getting is real charcoal from our oak and hickory lump charcoal. You're getting all natural apple wood and a little bit of natural vegetable starch to bind this all together. We don't use any coal or any limestone fillers that you may find in some national brands. So let's get this started. We just have a little bit of butcher paper right underneath. We'll get that lit. That'll take off on its own in about 15 minutes. We're gonna have fully lit charcoal. Okay, chicken drumsticks. How do you make sure you get crispy chicken skin when you're grilling drumsticks? Well, here's an easy way to do it. First part is you wanna make sure that you pat your chicken dry. Now I've already washed these, right? You might wanna run them under a little bit of cool water. And if you do run them under water, you make sure that when you're ready, you pat all of them dry. And if there's a little bit of skin that's pulled down, as you're drying them, just pull the skin right back to cover all the meat. This one, how the skin is kind of falling down a little bit, we're just, as we're drying it, we're just pulling it back, okay? So step two, the next secret to having nice crispy chicken skin is take a Ziploc bag We've poured just a little bit of cornstarch right into the bag. We're gonna add our chicken pieces into the bag and we're just gonna toss it to coat, gently. You don't need a lot. You don't need a ton of cornstarch. It's just gonna help it crisp up a little bit, right? It's not like you're doing fried chicken. Just a little bit of cornstarch to coat. There you go. You can do all of this ahead of time. If you're taking this party on the road, you can do all of this 
at home the night before so it's all ready to go when you're out there grilling. Let's, let's get to some action going here. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna toss these. Like I said, you don't need too much. Just takes a little bit and mostly on the skin. And just kind of shake it off as you're bringing them back out. Wherever you can, make sure you pull the skin over the top of the chicken. Now we need to season our chicken a little bit, right? I like to keep one hand relatively clean and one hand that's grabbed the chicken. We're just gonna add our chicken seasoning right on the top. This is Jack Daniels chicken rub. We're gonna season this all over. Now we don't have to worry about, you know, going too crazy with the seasoning. We're gonna add a lot of cowboy barbecue sauce as this is cooking. We're just gonna baste the chicken the whole time we're cooking. All right, so our coals are just about ready. We've got fire up to right about here. You can see where that line is. We've got fire coming out of the top and the top briquettes are just starting to ash around the corner. So I'm gonna call that ready. Let's dump this in and then we can start putting our chicken on. Get going. I've decided to dump them in a little bit early. I don't wanna have an extremely hot fire. I've spread them around. I do have some cooler zones. I have a zone that's back here that's a little bit cooler and I have a cooler zone right here. Okay, so now we can just start putting our chicken right on the grill. And make sure you wear gloves, use tongs, change your plates. Uh, if, you, if you get cross-contamination with chicken going, it can be kind of bad. So just make sure that you use your gloves as much as you can. So these are gonna cook right here for about 20 minutes. We'll move them back and forth a little bit as we need to. Wanna make sure that we don't burn them. The nice thing about this grill here is that the grates are big enough that we can add some pecan chips right to the top just to get a little extra flavor. So we're just gonna add those right to the top. We'll get a little smoky, pecan smoky flavor. We'll go ahead and close this so we can seal in that smoke and let that cook. So we've been cooking for about 20, 25 minutes or so. We've rotated the chicken a couple of times, once really. So let's see what we're working with here. Now, you can see this area right here in the chicken. That's from tossing it in the cornstarch. That's what's helping keep all that moisture inside and starting to crisp up the chicken. It's gonna have a nice little crunch. We're gonna add some barbecue sauce to it right now, and that's gonna help with the flavor. Now we'll take, we've got our cowboy barbecue sauce. We're going spicy today. We're doing a little prairie fire. So we're just gonna baste that right on the top. That, that is just good old barbecued chicken. So this grill, is holding pretty steady at about 300 degrees. Now, once you start to baste the chicken, you've gotta be careful that you don't put it over too hot a part of the grill because that sugar in the barbecue sauce, that will start to, to burn. And you don't, you don't wanna have burnt sugar flavor. So we're just gonna flip these over. We're pretty close to done on these. But that color, that, that smell, just smells fantastic. Okay, we're gonna shut this down. We're gonna let that caramelize over for about another 10 minutes. Then we're gonna put it right on the, the platter and you'll see what it all looks like. All right, so we're just about done. We've let that base kind of set in. We're gonna hit it one more time, just lightly. And then we're gonna hit it again when we take them off. I just like to make sure that we've got a lot of flavor on there. Some of these larger ones we might leave on the grill for just a little bit. Let them cook, make sure they're all the way cooked through to 165. But look at that. You show up to any picnic, any beach event with chicken like that, you're gonna be a star. All right, to top these off, we're gonna add just a little bit of fresh parsley. Just wanna hit a little bit of fresh parsley right across the top, it makes it look Really nice, that green pops off the barbecue sauce, off that chicken. You wanna look your best. So chop this up ahead of time, keep it on ice in your cooler, and then people are like, boy, when'd you have time to make all of that? Oh, you know. Let's just make sure that our chicken is exactly where we want it to be. We're looking for chicken at 165. 
Yeah, we got about 170 on that one, 166, 167, so you can kind of see which ones are right. So we'll take these off. Get this guy over there. We'll let some of those larger ones cook a little bit more. That's there, we'll hit it with just a little bit more barbecue sauce right across the top. A little bit of fresh parsley right over the top. Look at that. All right, you saw the steps here. This was easy barbecue chicken. We just used a little bit of cornstarch to make sure that our chicken skin stays nice and crispy. We add a little bit of Jack Daniels chicken rub, and then we put it on the grill over some apple wood cowboy briquettes with pecan chips and just let that smoke and cook. It, come, it came to temperature in about 30, 35 minutes, but make sure your chicken hits 165. About 15 minutes from when you're done, Baste it with a little bit of your favorite barbecue sauce. I like Cowboy Prairie Fire because I like the heat. And that's it. For more recipes, like, follow, and subscribe. We've got so many more that you can enjoy in your backyard or out on the road. I'm Daniel Mosnat, and until next week, keep cooking with Cowboy. Cowboy.